Well, the first and only emergency housing program in Savannah dedicated solely to helping women opened a year ago today. And this morning, Kyle is live at Parker's house where they will be celebrating that first year of operation and the partners who made it possible. Hello again, Kyle. Hey guys, yeah, we are inside Parker's house here in, uh, in Savannah supporting uh, the union mission and we are ready for a party. We've got uh, Parker's lemonade, Parker's sweet tea ready to go inside uh, the common kitchen area. I told you we saw some of the bedrooms earlier. We've got 16 bedrooms with 32 beds. We've got the common kitchen area. We also have a common dining space for the women where they can gather here. There's also a, a common living area, all to try and make them feel as comfortable as possible if they do have to call Parker's house home for some time. And you talked about the partners. Something like this could not be possible without the community stepping forward. One of the most recognizable partners will be the name that is on the building itself. Greg Parker, the CEO of Parker's, joining us this morning. Um, today's a celebration. is an exciting time, but as we talked with Mike Trainer earlier, it also is maybe saddening when you hear 222 women. It's great that those women have been able to help be helped. It's also a startling number when you talk about, you know, the women who have to come here to call this home for some time. Yeah. You know, we, we have a homeless problem in Savannah and um, we certainly have a problem with unaccompanied homeless women. And in our company, we have been focused, our brand focus has been the working mother for close to 30 years. So this really ties into our philanthropic goals. But to be able to partner with the Union Mission and do something this significant, to partner with them is, it's, it's mind bending. To think that 222 women have transitioned through this facility over the past year, finding ways to get jobs, to get off the streets is something. And I would say that this is, pro of all of the philanthropic things we've done, this might be the thing that has this most meaningful to me. So. One of the things that happened is the, the staff here is telling about a woman that was homeless, and most of the women that are homeless have been sexually or physically abused. And a woman comes in and presents her knife to the staff here because she says, I don't have to protect myself on the streets now. So at the last meeting that we were here, two women came up to me and they started hugging on me and said, Mr. Parker, thank you so much. We didn't have a place to take a shower. We didn't have a place to eat. We didn't feel safe. And to be able to do something like that really makes your heart swell. And to be able to partner with Union Mission and do this, I'm so proud of this team, what they've done. It talks about uh, your commitment to, to being involved in this. It started with an initial financial contribution <clears throat> to make sure that this place was ready to open up a year ago. But that commitment has continued. And uh, talk a little bit more about what you've been able to do, what the company's been able to do to, to maintain this and to, to look ahead in the future of Parker's House. Well, you know, they're doing the hard work. We're supplying the money to help them do it. And because of our involvement, I think we've been able to raise a lot more money. I think at this point, we're around 650000 of monies that we've been able to help Union Mission with. But we're having a roundup campaign now. It's going on for about two months. And we do 125,000 transactions a day. And what we want our customers to do to understand that this program is so important, to be able to take unaccompanied homeless women that emotionally have been abused and to get them off the streets and help them get back on their feet, to get a place to live, a place to work, is, is really, really an important thing because we all need to be given back to the, to the communities where we do business. So we've been fortunate. We do 125,000 transactions a day. We try to get people to round up to the next dollar, and then we match that round up with 25% on top of that. So we're, we're excited to be able to do something like this, to have our name on this is, is really meaningful, and to be able to work with Suzanne and Mark Toth and, and Mike McCarthy and Mike Trainer. I mean, these guys have done an extraordinary job. So we are very proud to be partnered with them. And 650000 and that is to date. The Roundup campaign continues to the end of October. So your uh, purchases that are made at Parker's over the next couple of months, you, you round up, and that will continue uh, supporting. And then we'll match 25% of that. There you go. Continuing to match and continuing to support Parker's house here and what yeah. they're doing with Union Mission. The celebration starts at 10 o'clock. Like I said, they got the chairs outside. Uh -huh. they got the microphone, the podium. You're speaking, right? I'm speaking. All right. So we'll hear from him. Uh, that's coming up at 10 o'clock. But we wanted to make sure that we let our morning break audience know what's happening down here at Parker's house. Again, as they celebrate one year uh, in operation, helping uh, unaccompanied homeless women here in Savannah and the greater Savannah area. For now, it back to you in the studio.